What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Uh, it's your boy Cody here. Today we're going to be doing a commentary. I don't do very many of these. I really don't think I've even done one of these. Uh, but <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Um, if you guys like to laugh, you'll enjoy this uh, this little highlight reel that I'm going to show you. This is like... Uh, it's hilarious. So let's just hop into this. This was uh, after I played my game against Bronco. Bronco's a great player. And um, when Bronco gets breaks, you're not going to come out of that. And that's what ended up happening with us. Uh... He just got some breaks, and I didn't catch some breaks, and I made some bad play calls, and I ended up losing the game. Uh, I was right there with him, and we're going to get back to that in just a moment. Let's hop into these highlights real quick. Uh, so we start out the game uh, early on here. I want to show you the first um, thing that really kind of it, 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 it kind of made me a little upset. Um, I'm on the goal line. I got, the, I got ball second and one uh, on the one. I think it's somewhere in here. I don't know where it's at. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, maybe I should have actually watched these highlights. Uh, where is it at? Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's right here. This is it. All right, so it's it's fourth and one. It probably won't even let me view these. Okay, it will. So second and one. So what I decided to do is I'm going to test Bronco. This is something you should always do early down, early down in the goal line. I want to see if he knows how to stop the quarterback sneak. So I throw QB sneak at him. I figured he knew how to stop it because he's so such a good player. He does stop the QB sneak for a yard. Okay, so next yard, next down, I come in and I'm just going to go to a generic set. And just try to run a generic run and just see if I can get in. Because I didn't want to show QB Sneak again. And so, of course, he stops that. Um, I don't know how Patrick will... Like, like how do you... Like, how, Murray, you just got to fight for me there. I don't understand that at all. Anyway, so that's that. So it's fourth and one. And I know I'm going to call the strong toss from the goal line. Because he had show, I had shown quarterback Sneak. So I came out in a strong toss. Alright, so you want to watch this. This is, like, the biggest thing. And at this point, it was 7-3. to three, uh, And he was up. So I motion uh, Des Bryant over so that I can get a lead blocker. I was faking around with the QB sneak. Got late in the clock. I had to go ahead and snap it. Uh, he does do the run commit D. This should be wide open. Uh, but unfortunately, James Hanna decides to, he smoked a little bit too much pot this morning. And just walks away. Like, what are you doing? Like, literally, what are you even doing? And then I just, and then Murray's just like, I'm going to try to be a beast for you, Cody. But Alden Smith is still on, uh, still drinking a lot. So he had to get me in the backfield here. So anyway, that's what going on there. Um, and then we'll find something here. I'm sure one of these runs by Frank Gore is hilarious. Um, this was hilarious. I had, this was after the fourth down stand. He had a goal line stand. This is the very first next play after that. Uh, what happens is Frank Gore is going to take the ball off the left sideline here. Um, and this is going to be a situation, and I don't know why I'm still on Kaepernick. But basically, I have this run stopped. I have three people over there. They're getting ready to wrap him up. And take a look at this. Not one, but two guys. What? How? Like, what? And then, like, and then, you know, I just, you know, I decided that since, you know, two guys didn't tackle him, I bet two guys couldn't tackle the air, so they just fall down for fun. And then your boy, DeMarcus Ware, has to chase him down the sideline. And then Frank Gore, Frank Gore is just like, hey, I'm just chilling. You know, I mean, I'm going to run out of bounds and not get tackled by DeMarcus Ware, who has, like, 99 million tackling. So, uh, there's that play, um, and then the funny part is right here. I think this is one of the funnier runs. Yeah, this is a touchdown run he had on me, and this is uh, after the rest. This is like as that drive's going on, this is a touchdown run. So, here I am in the 4-4. I've got the box filled. I'm in position to stop this running play. This is Saints Power, if you guys weren't aware of that. And let's take a look at this. What he's looking at here, he's looking at... One, two, three, four, five, six Dallas Cowboy potential defenders to stop this running play. It should not be even getting out of the backfield. What happens? Frank Gore cuts it upfield like he should have done. And Ernie Sims decides he's going to just, like, I don't even know how he took that angle on Gore. 95 is tackling the air. I don't know what he's doing. And look at DeMarcus Ware. What is he doing? He's tackling the air, too. They tackle everybody but Frank Gore on the play. Ends up Frank Gore just runs it in for a touchdown. Freaking ridiculous, man. I don't think this one was that bad, if I remember. This was Vernon Davis. This was the play before that one. I don't think this one was that bad. Yeah, it was just a simple crossing pattern. But then, you know, my guys have to dive on the ground like retards. So that didn't work for me really well. Um, so there is – that's going into halftime. So we're going into halftime. It ends up being 14-3. to 3. Uh, Not too bad because like, I got ball at halftime. Okay, we're coming out in the second half. We come out. And uh, this is a – Starting out in the second half, uh, we get this really big run by DeMarco Murray. 
Uh, take a look here. This is a big run. This is actually showing some pretty good stick skill, in my opinion. Uh, I know that Bronco's going to play the outside. If I cut it, that's too exaggerated. So I used the L2 spin button and literally broke his ankles on that play. That was pretty sick. But, of course, you know, when I'm running down the sideline, I get... I don't even... How was I even hurt on this play? This is what I want to know. Look at this. How did I get hurt? What... Oh, okay, he got the ankle. Well, then I could see that, but still, of course DeMarco Murray gets hurt after that play. So then, sorry about that. So so then that's what happened with that. Um, and moving on to these highlights here. Um, now, this is the game. So I go down and end up scoring on that drive. Uh, I'll show you the touchdown if I can find it. I don't even know if I can find it right now. Um, oh, it was just a run by, it was just a run by my man, Philip Tanner. Uh, pounding and grounding with him. I like him in the goal line. Anywho, uh, and then check this out. This is ridiculous. Okay, it won't show me. Never mind, don't check it out. So then, uh, on the ensuing drive, uh, at this point, uh, it is 9-14. to 14. Uh, This is the situation, guys. Uh, this is fourth down and 14 yards to go. If he gets the first down, you know, he's looking pretty good. If I get the stop, I've got the ball... On the 30-yard line, so I only have like 20, 20, 30 yards to go to get a touchdown to go ahead and take the lead. So it's 4th and 14. He goes to the uh, shotgun snugs, calls a play-action play. As you guys know, um, the pressures that I run out of 4-4 are very effective, and I like to use them in heavy pressure situations. So in this blitz, he's going to pl call play-action play, block his running back. That is what most gamers are using this season to bl pick up all the pressure. This is why, you know, you should listen to my tips because in this situation here, you're still going to get the heavy pressure. You see, I only send six guys. I have the pressure. And look at this. Look at this. Look at the point. He thought he had all day. He goes to throw. I'm like inches away from the sack. And literally, I didn't know that I had Barry Church in the game who has like negative 15 speed. And I'm dropping deep to cover the streak. And I just completely like I... I think I hit L2 on accident instead of R2. And, like, I see how I'm strafing here. I don't want to be strafing. I'm trying to sprint deep. So he gets me deep. Manningham makes a huge catch. Ends up sealing the game for me. But, but you know, Madden just had to screw me a little more because, you know, it's fun to do that to me. So, watch this. Four, I've got four Cowboys defenders pursuing him. He's on the ground. He is laying on the ground. He has not gotten up yet. Watch this. Boom. Two people. Nothing. And then the other two decide they're just going to fall down. What are you doing? Look at the three people. Mmm. Dang. Like they're having a threesome and it's all guys. What are you doing? <laughs> so <laughs> then <laughs> Brandon Carr gets up, makes a touchdown saving tackle. Because, you know, I had to click on to him and do that. Because if I didn't, I would have gotten completely raped. As, like, you know, as my, my threesome going. I wish we could get, like, an action shot of this. Like, mm, 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 mm. Give me some. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Look at that. He's, like, jacking off to him. Look at that. What in the world are you doing, church? So that was what ended up sealing my fate. And it was in the third freaking quarter. So then, it gets, it gets better, guys. Uh, the six yard, and then he ends up going in for a touchdown. He's a good game. He's a good player. He's going to convert those red zone opportunities. So then, <laughs> so then, the fourth quarter comes. Uh, here, I doubt him up with dead. Oh, no, I really want to show you this play. I don't know if it will let me show you it to you, but there was a point in this game where I think it was in the second quarter. It was an incomplete pass. I hope they let me show it to you because it's hilarious. If I can find it, I don't even know. Where is it at here? Um, while I'm looking for this, uh, take the time, guys, to at least uh, check out my rest of my videos on my YouTube channel. I do not always do videos like this. I rarely do videos like this. It's a lot more tips and tricks and trying to get you better in the play. Dang it, I won't let me look at it. Ugh, what if I create a highlight? Dang it. But basically what happened was uh, it was like a 60-yard pass. Austin had him beat over the top. I throw the ball, and Austin just stops moving. I didn't click on to him. He turns around and comes back to me. Like, he literally, I... I think before we went into the game, my team got high without telling me. Like, literally ridiculous. All right, so fourth quarter, 
I just wanted to show you some of this. Uh, here, Dez, 37. Uh, I got the, oh yeah, uh, I got a holding on the ensuing kickoff after that. Give me the ball to the 7-yard line. Thanks, Madden. I appreciate it. Like, you haven't done enough to me already. So here, um, it's just a simple um, user catch to Dez that I break down uh, in one of my money plays. I did not run that enough. I needed to run that because that was the only thing that was really open in Broncos maximum coverage defense. So definitely check that out. Uh, we'll, we'll try to make some adjustments to our offense for that. Uh, Bronco is a great gamer. He defended my offense very well. Uh, probably the best I've seen all year. So shout out to him, guys. Uh, he'll be on the Virgin Gaming uh, if you guys do check him out. Um, anywho, that was the 37-yard pass to Dez. And then uh, what happened, that was basically the game. But I, I did want to show you the rest of the fourth quarter because there is some, some moments here that I did want you to see. Um, so here, T. Will finally showed up. He had been high all game, dropping passes like it was his job. On this play, he finally steps up. He's on a uh, just a simple, um, just a simple deep corner route, and I have to wait till the last second to get this corner route off. But luckily, he gets it. Um, that was a huge catch by him. I was hoping he could get in the end zone because ultimately, I failed to get in the freaking end zone down the red zone because my red zone offense was really pathetic today just because I haven't been playing I haven't been playing competitively too much and just really struggled today um, and then here uh, pass to Gore I'm sure I'm sure if it was to Gore it probably screwed me in some way shape or form um, yeah just a simple flat pass um, but of course you know you know you know two people two people yeah yeah I mean that's good stick by Bronco but still man I was using I mean, mm. and then church just is like high and then the other two guys finally get him on the ground. Gore had a day, that's for sure. Um, this one, a Davis. I think this was one. I think this one made me sick. Uh, this one kind of broke my back. Uh, literally, my team had been high all day, and so at this point, I was like really upset. And so I was like, "Hey, I'll just be high too." I'm 42, guys. I'm 42. I'm church right here. I'm just like, I'm literally like, look at his eyes. Look at this. I will kill you, Kaepernick. Is what he's saying. And I just sit there. Like, what am I doing on this play? I don't know. That's what happens when you're down and you're just, you're really not feeling good. Uh, you know, I haven't, <laughs> you're not feeling good in a lot of ways. <laughs> and this is what happens. Davis just like, wee! <laughs> and and uh, it takes like seven people to bring him down. So, um, but then, um, this is the run I really want you guys to see. So, you know, my back was already broken at this point. And so, I don't know, this one's kind of funny. I mean, we've seen it before, but this is still kind of funny to me. Uh, so, if Gore goes off tackle, or actually going on a dive here, and he cuts it back. Sims is standing there. He's just smoking pot. Sean Lee comes over to make the tackle, and he ends up wrapping him up, which was one of the first times all day we see him. Uh, I don't know what Anthony Spencer's doing on this play. He decides he's just going to fly in for fun. Sims is still smoking pot. He hasn't even tried to make a tackle yet. And so, when we get him down... Everybody just falls down on him, like four people, and I don't know how Gore decides he's going to get up and just run again, <laughs> but he does, and so there we go. Um, that wasn't as, you know, that wasn't as, that was just kind of after the fact of all the other crap that had happened this game. Um, and then the power row here, that's just horrible run defense by me. We talk about it all the time, set the edge, ended up paying for it. Uh, great game by Bronco. I definitely want to give him a shout out. He's a great player. Uh, and I think that a lot of you guys under, I think, I know I underestimated him for sure. I didn't think he was that great this season, uh, just from what I've heard, but definitely still got it. Definitely a great player. And I definitely recommend you guys getting some games with him. If you're trying to get on an elite level on this play, this is just like a, a, a immature. Look at my guy. I want to show you this. This is hilarious. So I, I want to show incomplete passes. This is retarded. Madden, let me show incomplete passes because the play before this Skandrick 32 Drop the pick. So what does he do now, you ask? I shade Manningham outside. Skandrick's like, I'm a Mexican. I'm going to stay inside. I don't even think he is a Mexican, but he decides to anyway. Why, who are you covering? Why are you looking that way? Your guy is over here. What are you doing? <laughs> so, and then the dude just like, eh. And then, of course, you know. You wouldn't want to fumble, Bronco. You're only up by 30, so <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to get a hit stick by Church because Church has definitely got some hit power and can do that. But dag gone, man. And then uh, this was the run that kind of that kind of just put it all together. Uh, Kaepernick, 
Uh, I send some pressure here off the left edge, the 3-3-5-2 man under. Didn't get my setup. I didn't pass him in, and so since it was a PA play, he called that PA play out of snugs. It didn't come in. If I would have passed him in, it probably would have been a different story. But I put um, I put my man here, 54, uh, Bruce Carter here, I put him in a flat zone, the play. And, of course, what does he do? What, is, what does he do? He blitzes. He blitzes for fun because he likes to blitz. You know, he likes to go get sacks. So Kaepernick's just like, hey! Ain't nobody over here. I'm out the building. And that one just, that was just probably just bad. I needed to pass commit, but dang, that one just kind of broke my back. And then this is just something that I could salvage for fun. This is, this is the play that I can, I could just salvage because it was kind of cute. Um, let's just, let me get on Dez here. But uh, you guys already saw this. This is just the user catch. Dez going, getting big for me finally. But, um. Uh, Good game, Bronco. Love playing you, man. But thought it was kind of funny. Thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. If you like videos like this, let me know. Uh, I can do more of these because I get screwed in Madden a lot, shockingly. And uh, definitely could do a lot more of those. But uh, appreciate you watching, guys. I know it's. I know it's. There's not a whole lot you can learn from this. What you can learn from this is do not fool around in the red zone. Um, the strong toss was probably the best call there. But make sure you have guys in with, have good awareness, good run block because James Hanna obviously was smoking pot. Um, in pregame, so definitely do not uh, play people that are smoking pot on your team. They will not do well for you. That's why I recommend checking out that awareness waiting. It really hurt me today. So definitely check that out, guys. Great game by Bronco. Kicked my rear end. Uh, deserved it probably, but uh, definitely not a really good game getting my first game back in. But uh, enjoy playing your Bronco. You got some good stuff. Enjoyed seeing your offense and defense, and uh, I wish you luck going forward in the Madden community. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. If you guys like my tips, my videos, whatever, uh, please subscribe. And also, if you already are subscribed, show your support by the channel for by retweeting this video and liking the video on YouTube it really helps me out guys I can't tell you how much uh, I appreciate all the things you guys do for me on a daily basis thanks for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video we'll see you tomorrow with some more Madden 25 content